That's quite awesome. What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm out here, obviously, in the mountains. Um, Barclay Lake. Two miles in, I'm almost to the lake and uh, just want to say what's up. It's been a while. Today we're going to talk about ornate rainbow fish. No wait, ornate rainbow goby. Let's get to the lake, then we can do some talking. I want to get there before it's too late. It's around 6.50 p.m. right now. Sun's going down, so. I think I might have to hike in the dark. I don't know. I think this is just the spot. Oh man, I'm hungry. Water. We got fire. Ornate rainbow gobies. Um, I believe they're from the West Sumatra, Indonesia. And uh, I've, been, I've been watching them over there at the aquarium co-op and I want to take some home. No one seems to be interested in them. They want the, the algae eating ones instead. This is about to boil over. That was about <laughs> less than two minutes. But uh, no one seems to want to buy them. So I'm, I'm gonna buy myself a pair and show people how cool they are. Cause they are really that cool. And um, I believe they live above waterfalls, which is really cool. They're in waters of subtropical to tropical, which is pretty crazy. I believe they wash out to the ocean and then come back in. I'm gonna throw about two in my uh, 26 gallon. And if they like it there, then um, I'll just buy like two more. I've uh, canceled my Patreon. <laughs> uh, so I'm not on Patreon anymore, but you can still support me just by watching the videos. Um, I don't live stream anymore, so you can't super chat me. So, uh, that was a loud sound. So just go back and watch some of my videos. I know they're crappy and all, but that that's the only way to support me, really. Here, let me pick you guys up. I got my GoPro in the water there. Got my phone over here with the moment lens. Look what it's looking at. Yeah, super sexy. Eventually. Uh, hi, Gobies. Bottom. I just ate a big steak dinner. Um, <laughs> it's two days later. And I'm super full. Um, it was an incredible hike. And um, I was at the store today taking some B-roll and uh, decided just to bring them home today. I um, also brought a few of the other things home, which you'll see in a second. Um, I really want to put him in a 26, but I know I'll never see him. I didn't ask Corey, but I'm hoping it's okay. Um, they're really nice. They're not going to bother anybody. I also want to tell you guys that yesterday, or oh no, the day I went hiking, uh, me and Corey, we ripped up the my pond from outside. And uh, as I was cleaning it out with the net and gathering all the rocks and the algae out, I noticed a shrimp in there. And I'm like, well, that's weird. I remember putting shrimp in there, but the pond froze over. I kept on digging and digging and more and more kept on popping out. And these are the most dark red to just absolutely amazing shrimp. Um, I haven't taken B-roll of them yet. I will after this, but you, gotta, you guys gotta see this. They're, they're absolutely, they're huge and they're really red because they got all that sunlight. So um, let's just release these gobies and uh, maybe get B-roll of them later let them settle in but for now I just got I guess I'll just show you b-roll that I got from the shop so let's open these guys and set them free these guys like to be on top of waterfalls like above the waterfall so they like rapid areas I'm just gonna rip this bag and just release them all right be free my friends 
and there they go. Most likely they'll end up somewhere right there where the mountain top is. But I'll let them adjust for a little bit and then get B-roll of them in a couple of days. And uh, let's go talk about the rainbow tank. Rainbow tank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you can see, I've got a few bags up here. I got two more um, yellow rainbows, as well as a panagara and a Siamese algae here. That's because it's growing a little bit of algae. Um, let me turn on the lights like I should have this tank. I always have the little red light on. There we go. Really displays the fish very nicely, as you can see. Look at those embers, just brave, just being in everybody's business. Uh, I've been noticing the, the, uh, the orange fin trouts, they've been picking on the rainbows, but keeping them in line. It's so hilarious that they chase them and then they start schooling together. Um, check out the killifish over there. So that pair of killifish was brought into the store and um, the original owners just thought they were too aggressive, so they were killing fish. I put them in here and the rainbows and the royal uh, orange fin trouts they keep them in check. So they've been doing good, haven't been noticing anything missing. I found where the other uh, wood cat lives. He lives all the way deep inside that cave right there. The other one's right here. <laughs> They're getting so fat. It's awesome. But uh, ballast and air is growing out of control. Uh, what well, my original plan was to grow two arches, but then I was like, yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that a lot. Um, in different places, so I'm just gonna let this grow and keep it low. Hopefully it spreads over here more, but it's growing It's growing pretty well. Uh, Tiger Lotus is growing new offshoots. Uh, let's release these fish in and uh, I think that'll be the end of the video. You guys can enjoy some b-roll um, of the shrimp and hopefully of the gobies. Um, I picked out that, that, that specific goby because his face was all fully blue um, some of the other gobies were just like little specks of blue, but um, yeah, let's get these guys in there. They wait long enough. Now I'm still not sure if I want to put this guy in there, but because I know he'll be impossible to take out. But Siamese algae eaters do such a good job. Just let him, just let him do his work. Just let him do his work. All right, looks good. Now I'm just gonna step away. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I haven't been putting out so much content, but I hope you enjoy what I do put out. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.